Wow. Wow. I finally got to try out the MetaQuest 3. In this video, I'm going to show you what I saw and I'm going to give you my impressions, both the good and the bad. So first thing I saw was a mixed reality view of the store. So I could see everywhere around me and you know, it, there was the graphics overlaid on it. Also, was it as good as I thought it would be? Honestly, no. Like for me, at least it didn't create illusion that I, I was like having these objects pop up in my surroundings like that whale in the gym. Colors were okay, passable, dynamic range was also passable, but there were two issues. Number one, um, I noticed the kind of like a distortion when objects are near the headset. So like if my hands were near the headset, then you'd see a kind of like a warping around it. And that, you know, that right there already breaks the illusion. And then in addition to that, the resolution itself, you know, it's definitely way better than the quest through the quest to pass through mode but um it, it wasn't like high enough to really fool my mind into thinking on a subconscious level that i was looking at reality so it really looked more like looking at like a video if if i had been somewhere else and someone got a 360 video of that store at that location and you know i saw it in a vr headset it looked like that it felt that way so after that mixed reality scene they cut to a scene of from um, supernatural you know that fitness app it looked really detailed like i i have maybe like a dozen or so uh, vr headsets and this is by far the most detailed that I've seen. Like I thought the difference between the Quest 2 and the Quest 3 would just be like kind of like small, but no, it's definitely noticeable. That's the first thing that's, that struck me. It was like how detailed it was. Wow, so detailed. So the next scene was from Asgard's Wrath 2 and that really impressed the hell out of me because like the graphics were really amazing. Like. We, I've seen those sample videos from Asgard's Wrath and um, just looking at uh, those videos like on YouTube and elsewhere, it looks you know, pretty good, but not super amazing. But here in the, the headset, it looked really great. It, I would say the, the level of graphics are like um, almost like PS3, if you can believe it, like PS3-ish. Uh, it looked really great. And um, there was a scene there in Asgard's Wrath where you're running through this dungeon and it's really dark. And I thought that was a good test of black levels. I, I would say it was maybe an improvement over Quest 2, uh, but not like close to Quest 1. So I didn't have the Quest 2 and Quest 3 side by side, but that was my impression. It was... Uh, closer to Quest 2 than Quest 1. Uh, the next scene was uh, from Ghostbusters, Rise of the um, Ghost Lord, and you know it was okay. I, I, I fr frankly it was I didn't get I wasn't impressed by the graphics. It was like a good Quest game, like that level of graphics. What stood out to me there was uh, the fact that I couldn't see the individual pixels because like you have these simple um, graphics and the, these solid colors and you i couldn't see like any screen door effect at all and at least for my eyes i couldn't see like the individual pixels themselves it looked really nice there's also a demo of uh, nfl pro era 2 uh, Graphics were better than the Pro Era 1, but mm, I think they were just okay. Personally, I wasn't super impressed. You know, I, I like watching NFL, so I am kind of looking forward to that game. We'll see. Then it jumped to, I believe, um, Ecosphere. So this showed a VR 180 view, like while you're flying overhead uh, some islands. It looked really detailed. Like, again, I couldn't see the individual pixels, so it was really nice. So after seeing that demo, what do I think about the Quest 3? Let's start with mixed reality. Like, it was 
pretty good. It was cool, but not as good as I thought it would be. It didn't create the illusion that I was looking at like hologram showing up in my room. Uh, but having said that, I think I would still have fun with games that really use the environment like Stranger Things, like with portals opening up on your ceiling or walls. I think that's really cool. And if you want to see more games like that, you can check out this list here. Now, meanwhile, the, what really sold me though about the Quest 3 are, is the detail and the graphics. Because uh, I thought that the Quest 3 would just be a small improvement over the Quest 2, but no, it's a very noticeable improvement. And uh, if the games in the future for the Quest 3 are more like Asgard's Wrath, wow. I mean, I think that was close to desktop VR quality is really impressive. Another thing I forgot to mention is the excellent lenses. Super wide sweet spot and no god rays. It also has a noticeably wider field of view, but it's not perfectly round. There are weird curves around the edges. Still huge improvement over the Quest 2. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in 360.